Hello everyone, we're in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. We're going to make a revolving see-through sphere that you can add text and or a PNG transparent photo to it. And we're going to have it animating one direction and then there'll be a ring animating the opposite direction. Start with going up in the media pool. Select new fusion composition. You don't have to name it. Then you'll see a little box up here. Bring that down to your timeline. That's your composition. For those of you that don't know me, I have to use this on-screen keyboard because I'm paralyzed. And I will note that I am fairly slow at doing these. So if you don't have the patience to stick around, then I guess don't watch. But if you do, be great. And go down to Fusion. Start with a 3D shape, merge, camera, 3D render. Let's rename the shape to sphere. With that node selected, go up in the inspector, under shape, and select sphere. Drag and merge up in the left viewer. Then select your camera. With the camera node selected. Right now the camera is inside the sphere. You can grab it by the blue handle and drag it back. Or up in the inspector under translation. Z value. Pull it back to right about there, be good for now. Bring in an, another 3D merge. Okay, with the uh, Merge 2 selected, we'll grab another shape.
Something weird going on with my nodes here. With that, we're going to name that ring. Go open the inspector, under shape, and get Taurus. Start with uh, rotation X value, set that at 90. Back to controls. Just keep playing with the radius and the section until you get what we're looking for. I'm going to go to base subdivisions. As you see, the ring has some edges on it. Move it to the right, it'll smooth out. We can always come back to these later. Go to one viewer for a moment. And go back to the sphere. We're going to downsize it. Let's name this sphere. Now let's go back to the ring. This is more personal preference on how 
Think you want that ring to be? Now we'll take another shape node. Open the inspector under shape. Select cone. Now we gotta modify this to be the stand. So let's name it base. Just keep going back and forth and transform the controls like I am until you get it sized correctly. Let's go back to the sphere. Make it a little smaller. Back to the ring. Okay, now let's go to transform. Let's raise the ring up some. Take note of that, 0 0.87 minus. Back to the sphere. Under transform. I'm going to put that same value here. Keep that centered. Grab another shape node. Go up in the inspector, under shape, select cylinder. Go to materials, we'll make a black. Add to controls.
Make sure it's not protruding out of the top of the ring. Okay, that's the main parts of the sphere itself. Now we'll make a table for it to set on. Grab another 3D material. Shape, I should say. Let's name this one Pivot before we get ahead of ourselves. Which is the black rod that runs up the middle of it. This last one, we'll name it Table. Let's go back to Dual Viewer. With the table note selected, go up in the inspector under shape, select cube. Before we unlock it, it's obviously inside the uh, sphere, so we gotta make it bigger. Now unlock the width and height and depth. Going to transform. We'll lower it down. Drag your merge 3D1 back into left viewer. Okay, let's add some shaders to this so we can decide for the difference between the two materials. With the table node selected, 
shift space bar. And type in replace material. It should automatically connect. Check it, make sure. I'm going to use a, a wood shader. I will leave these in the description below if you want to use them. Okay, now we have wood grain on our table. Let's rename that node. Table shader. Now select the ring, same thing, shift spacebar. I already brought this shader in, so I'll use that one. Now, as you see, we have a different color wood up there in the ring. Let's rename it Ring Shader. Same thing with the base. Select the base. Shift spacebar. And I'll bring down the same one. And we'll rename that one Base Shader. This will be part one of a two-part tutorial here. We're going to do the next one. We're going to put a window with some pictures in the window as you're looking out of it with this sphere sitting in the middle. Okay.
I don't have a middle mouse wheel like you do. Um, you probably know that's the best way to move around the 3D world. I have to use the drop down menu. Okay, we want to get this base just touching the table. So either you got to lower the the base of the ring or raise the table depending on what, what you got going on on your end. Mine, I got to raise the table. We just want to close this gap up. Click right here a few times, make sure no nodes are selected, and then hit shift spacebar. And type in fall off. Pipe that right into the sphere. Now you'll see your sphere's somewhat transparent. And so we don't forget. Go to the 3D render. Go up here under Render Type, select OpenGL Render. This way our GPU will render this out. The CPU will struggle real hard to get it rendered out. And then go to trans. Transparency. And quick sort. Let's go back to the blend node. Or I'm sorry, the fall off node. Select it. Shift spacebar and look for blend. With the fall off node selected, drop the opacity all the way down. Then you go down to fall off. You can make it as transparent as you would like.
and it's going to pick another color, select the blend mode. I'm going to stay with white. With the blend node selected, type in uh, material merge. Should automatically be piped in. Okay, click a few times right here. Make sure nothing's selected. Shift spacebar. Want texture replace. This one right here, Texture Transform. Pipe it into the Material Merge. Bring down the Text Node. I want to go back to one other thing first. We need to grab one more 3D shape. And name it Triangle. Pipe it into mer uh, Merge 2. Go open the Inspector. As you can see in your viewer, we have a plane in there again. And go down to Cone. Transform. Under rotation, X value, set it to 90. Go to controls. Under base subdivisions. Bring it down till we have a triangle. Size it accordingly. Set your 3D up, something like this. We got to modify this triangle cone thing we have going on.
Under translation, Z value. Now we'll rotate it. Under rotation, Z value. Set that to 90. A little on a large size, so we'll go back to controls. And I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Something that, that looks good. Now we're going to add a shader for this. So select the triangle node. Shift spacebar. And replace material. And it should automatically be piped in. We're going to use the same shader so it matches. And you can use a picture of brass, copper, chrome, wood, whatever you like for these. I think the wood looks nice, so that's why I'm using them. Okay, now we'll add a text to it. And as you notice, the writing is on the side of the sphere, so we gotta move it. Go under the uh, texture transform node right here. Make sure it's highlighted. Up in the inspector. Under the U value, set it up something like that. We can add an uh, outline to it if you'd like. Go to shading under the text tab. Select number two because one is used. Select enable. And now you can make it thicker. A 
Let's take the render 3D and hook it to media out. Drag it up into the viewer. Now let's animate this. Select the sphere. Select the sphere. Make sure your play has a frame zero. Over the inspector under rotation, Y value, set a keyframe. Bring the play head all the way to the end. Rotate it to the right to 360. I take the playhead back to frame zero. Select the ring node. Same thing, go up under rotation, Y value, set a keyframe. Now rotate this one counterclockwise, go left. to minus 720. That will make the ring rotate twice as fast as the sphere. I think I forgot to move it. I'll start over with that. Keyframe it. Bring the playhead to the last frame to the end. Again, rotate it left and type in 720. That's minus 720. Okay, we've gone this far. We might as well add a picture to this globe as well. Make a little room with my nodes here. Select the material merge. Shift spacebar and type that in the box. And it's pipe right in. Now we need another texture tran transform. Click here a few times, make sure nothing's selected. Then shift spacebar. And 
and texture transform. Pipe that in to the merge material merge. Now we'll get the photo. It's got to be a transparent PNG. Okay, it's in the wrong place, so we're going to rotate the sphere. We want to go halfway, so take it to frame 75. Select the... Uh, Texture Transform, up in the Inspector, and the U value rotated towards pointing directly at us. By the way, this is the photo of my two granddaughters. And you go to scale and then you can adjust the size of it. under the V. Make sure your render cache is on. Okay, let's go up to the edit page and see how it looks. Grab a solid cutter generator. By default, it's black. Now, if we want this to continue rotating, we'll go back down to Fusion. Select a clip, make sure your playhead's over it. Go up here to the top under Spline. I should demonstrate something first, I guess. Right 
Right now, if we stretch it, it's only going to rotate the five seconds. Should show this so you know why I'm doing what we're going to do next. It still plays, but don't rotate. Okay, back to fusion. If your spline window is closed off by the inspector up in the very top right, you can close that. Make sure all these are selected over here. Go to zoom to fit. Highlight all of them. Go down to this icon, set relative. Back up in the edit page. Now we should be able to stretch this to wherever we want it. Let it run through the cache. Now it will continue to go. Make it as long as you like. One thing I want to go over, let's go back down to Fusion. Close the spline window. Open your uh, inspector back up. If you select lighting and shadows under the 3D render like normal, let's go ahead and add an ambient light. So select the merge 3D. I meant to add that before and I forgot. Now that we have a light in the scene and we change this to OpenGL, you want to uncheck shadows. GPU will not render out the uh, shadows. 
Now you see the nodes are not red any longer. With it on, they're red. Sorry, I missed that step earlier, but we got in there now. Let's go back to the uh, picture because I think it's a little bit big. Get our text in there a little better. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.